before you're a leader, success is about growing yourself. But when you become a leader, success is more about growing others. I'm 18 years old. I've been living in Singapore for nine years now. I love sports. I love music. I, I love, you know, hanging out with my friends just like a normal teenager. When I first started out, I thought being a leader is just about being able to get people on your side and just, you know, you know showing that you're enthusiastic and then people will naturally follow along. But I mean, it was a bit more complicated than that. I mean, as a leader, you, you actually have to be able to use authority when you need to, but also to be able to take into account other people's opinions. Amy joined our school six years ago. Uh, she started as a year one student. She's now our year six. She is full of uh, enthusiasm for life, you know. She loves it. She's not a backbencher and said, you know, let me sit and ground and look at others do. She's not that. So she has a heart for people. If she sees something as important as uh, need to be done, she will uh, make sure that it's done and done well. That's Amy, yeah. Seeing need around you, it kind of motivates me to want to do something. If you see something that needs changing, why not take this step? and be the one who changes it, rather than waiting for someone else to change it. So for quite a while I've thought about being a doctor, specifically um, a gynaecologist and obstetrician, because in a lot of North African and East African countries, women don't have access to obstetric care in a way that we are so accustomed to. So often what happens is they can't deliver their babies and then they develop complications following on from that. And because of that, they're ostracized from society because what's very much ingrained in the culture is that women are of value because they can have children, they can carry on the bloodline. So if they can't have children, they're practically worthless. I think we often take for granted the, the privileges that we have and it's something that I really want to do in the future. And it's not just about physically restoring them, but it's, it's restoring them back to society. I think the greatest thing about her quality and her treatment of her friends is that she's very selfless and she, she always has this want for others to do as well as they can. And that's the sort of quality that, you know, in the very competitive world we are in today is rather lacking. And so to have that sort of person who always pushes you towards your best without any reservations, I think that's very special. As a person, I've been given a lot of opportunities. So I was really lucky in that sense to have so many opportunities to take up. But also, I really think that it's about following through on what you want to do, but you have to be willing to put in the work. And when you fall, you have to be able to get up again and just keep going. Because we don't always succeed in everything that we do. As people, we fail, we fall short. But the things that you can achieve are done through hard work, not necessarily because of what you're born with. Um, but also, it's about being able to keep going, I think, which is really important. When I face challenges, I always remind myself of a quote by Viktor Frankl, which is, what is to give light must endure burning. I'm Amy and I'm from ACS International. If my leadership story resonates with you, vote for me today. <laughs>